think maybe they have done that. Gee, red color is nice also. The red is I nice. have uh, must be a very red color so that I don't get confused in the parking lot. Uh. <laughs> I used to go on mine, it's generic dark blue. I go, I go see wrong cars about it. Uh. Hi Proton. Hi. Volume up. So you can change radio station, up your volume, things like that. Simple command can be done. Hi Proton. Hey. Turn off radio. Okay. Uh, so they also have the touch screen. You can also do some settings like vehicle setting on your lights, things like delay time for hmm. the lights to go off. Automatic go off, yeah. Nah. Go off after you lock your car, hmm. you can delay 60 seconds. Let's say you park in a dark parking area, hmm. this will be useful it's because. G GPS is it? I mean, I yes. say in. Um, Built in GPS. Uh? Built in, yes. Built in, right? So yes. I do that navigation. Navigation. But of course, you can also link up to your. Ways, uh, yeah. with the QD link, uh, there's mm. a cables, original phone cable can link mm. up. Mommy, you cannot. Ah, uh, uh, yes, very good. I have, I'm geographically challenged. <laughs> I even had the base here, okay. So, this one also voice activated, eh? Uh, yes. So, if you drive in a very smooth highway, every car is nice. But over here, you will know the real life experience while you are driving when you get your car and, and not caught by surprise, you see. So, what? that's why. What is the engine capacity for this one? This is 1.5 turbo. They have two power output. This is a flagship model. So basically flagship has higher power, which is 177 horsepower with 255 newton meter of torque. It's very powerful compared to many cars uh, in this category. And in fact, even if they're flag, uh, premium or executive mm. or even the standard, the power is not bad at all. It's 150 horsepower, equivalent to those day two liter engine. Oh, okay. And their torque is also more than 200. It's 226 oh, newton meter. Good. So many car, for example, example lah, Honda HRV is mm. 142 horsepower with not more than 180 torque. This is the standard one is already 150 with 226. Because this is much higher. Premium and flagship will come with two tone interior, meaning that you have red color. Red is only for the premium, premium and flagship action. Yes. Mm. I really like the red one. It, but red only comes with this bright red, right? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> so you <yes, laughs> no no <laughs> It's normal. A lot of people so hey, get get used to it, like. It's a bit too strong. Uh, I think. Cannot. 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 Can. 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 Cannot. It's a bit too small, right? Mm. Can. Cannot. Uh, you can actually call up the 360 camera. Oh! oh. You can use it to light up. Didn't know. Uh, Whoa! Uh, that's good. Yeah, then that's you can squeeze. Like premium and flagship, we can do that. Okay. Uh, but it means the ones that we're looking just now don't do have. How do you want to go again? Uh, this button. 360. 360. Okay. Oh. But only premium and flagship. Just uh, now we saw the one we saw is premium. Executive. Executive. Uh, also, the means that one don't have. Executive. Executive. Got it. They gave us the best to look, and then now they're now I'm tempted. Now, now, now Terrible, I'm going for no. And That's why. All the this, all this, all all these salesmen ah, uh, you are. No, we, we need to let you know how to make use of it. What is the differences? Then you make your a, a right choice, lah. Because now you can see, like for example, now mm. if you want to cut or something, now you cannot see because in normal cars they don't have. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's more convenient, user friendly. And practical sometimes really some corners are really tight the, the, the space mm. and all that we, we can't see it from the side mirror so that is something good mm. and if you want to try the turning radius you can in fact keep to your right mm. later on when we oh, go down the slope we can try the u-turn 
keep right, right. Eh? I keep right. Yeah, there's a U turn. I know there's a U turn. Yeah, there's a U turn down there, so you can try the turning radius. Mm. Or traffic light there lah. Yeah. Or if you want to drive a bit further, you can turn right instead of U turn. Later on, after. Ah, uh, correct there. Another U turn. Marsha College there. <laughs> I'm my masters now also. <laughs> so this is in uh, standard driving mode. Mm. Of course, you can try. Let's say you want sport, so mm. just press the button. Now you can try the acceleration. The meter will change as well. So this is sport mode, lah. Wow. Wow. Uh, you can feel I feel like a racing and racing car. Eh? Character of this car. So it depends on your preference and road conditions. Mm. Uh, Alright. No problem. So 0 to 60 is how fast? Uh, uh, 0 to 100 0 to uh, is 7.9 oh. 7.9 seconds Actually so, driving a highway will be good la. Yeah, it's, it's fun to drive on the highway Highway, okay uh, First in town also, if you say uh, I don't need such a strong acceleration for day to day You can always switch it back to standard by mm. switching it off switch to eco by pressing the eco button so what so does it, the eco does uh? it the character is more laid back more relaxed in acceleration give you a more smoother sailing mm. but of course uh, the standard also did similar thing but with more power but sometimes or some customer they drive at very smooth slow pace they don't like to accelerate a lot Mm. They may feel more. That's me, you know. They will prefer on the. <laughs> I'm very uncle style of driving. Yeah, I was so thinking. Set, set I, was, petrol, so. I was thinking that would be my dad, you no? Know, like when they drive, they prefer slower, you know, pace. Slow uh. pace uh. They're mm. very careful. Mm. So you can use standard or eco in that case. Uh. For those who want a more sporty, aggressive driving style, uh, then. So what are these buttons for? Okay. Uh, this is the cruise control. While mm. driving, you can turn on your cruise control. Set a speed, mm. you know, the oh. minimum driving speed. Mm. That's the and highway one, also uh. a speed mm. limiter. Oh, then you can limit your your your, your this so called the speed, yeah? mm. so that you don't exceed certain. Oh, like road. on a highway like that, lah. On highway, let's say there's one stretch, hundred and ten, then suddenly it drops uh. to eighty. You worried that you will over speed when you reach there. Uh, uh. Or button sometimes while talking. Yeah, correct. So you can set to let's say seventy five or eighty. So it will not go above that. Then you mm. want to turn off this press. Just press that. Yeah, just press that. Oh. Mm. So this is for auto cruise. So all, all standard model have it, is it? Uh, auto, oh. auto cruise. These are with standard model, but the, the capability to follow and stop, those are with the pre uh, flagship only. Mm. The one that following the front car mm. and then stop and go, all those function. Mm. The additional so one. Turn, yeah, uh. this So it's quite easy. Quite easy, easy oh. it's, yeah. Mm. Like very easy to drive. The, not too big. The cornering also is, is mm. actually quite okay. Not yeah. too. But well, sometimes when you when body roll, you turn, so the whole uh, body roll. Ah yes. <laughs> this one they they tune it to actually Malaysia road condition. Mm. And Lotus team, as I know, they also came to do the fine tuning. Mm. Geely comes in Geely to deal with this yeah, part. Yes. Internal yes. part. Yes. In fact, they they have been tested it uh, for more than a year here. Well, of course, the COVID has delayed a little bit on the launching. Mm. But before that, they have done some excessive testing and all that for Malaysia market. But now we can turn to the left. I mean, the bridge to we can turn back. Okay. Mm. I still feel a bit yeah, I st there, especially when during port halls, I still feel. Like yeah, that's the thing, you see. It's still, mm. it's not as comfortable, you know, because I can you, still feel the bumps, you know. You, you can still feel the, the road condition. Uh, you know? It's not totally absorbed and not too soft. Of course, you can make it very absorbing, but then sometimes you will feel a bit floating, mm. too soft of a suspension because this car is tall. Mm. Oh. If you cannot make it too soft, otherwise the body rolling like this, the right. Newton, they will roll a lot. You know, not in that case, it's more dangerous. So uh, you have to strike a balance mm. between two. I also noticed that uh, when I drive, uh, mm. the my head ceiling is actually quite near. Uh, the seat of your height is, I think. So set to the quite yes. high. Right? Yes. Okay, then just higher like than me. Yeah, you can adjust. Uh, up and down. Oh, high and low, up and down. Okay, that, okay. that can be done. So good for short people, lah. 
Uh, wow, yeah, tall people are so tall, tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can lower down, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So they're easy to find the right spot to hide. No, because sometimes we spend uh, if traffic jam, uh, we spend hours in the car, one, you know, <laughs> yes. one hour, then you come back, uh, then yeah. be so exhausted. And also, uh, yesterday test drive my uh, customer told me uh, he find that the seat is quite suitable for him. It's hard for him to find a sweet spot. With continental car, especially for for this this, this kind of seat, right? It helps because I got back problem. Oh, oh okay, okay. So this sort of seat will actually help to support. Yeah, because yeah imagine I'm driving. driving yeah. yeah. If I were to drive for three four hours straight, uh, mm. it will be a hassle. No, I think every two hours so you must I get out. They, they tune into Asian it, size, the, oh. the body shape. This is what the customer, uh, two customer told me about this, because they are driving continental car also. Mm. So they say they very hard for them to find a right spot, but this one sit in everything is nice. 